Hey, good morning. I see one person on there. We're getting ready to go live. You won't need any special equipment for today's workout. I, you might want a mat if you'd like to have a mat to be on the floor. Um, probably want a water bottle. Not going to be doing a lot of cardio today like we have in the last couple of workouts. After a warm up, we're going to be doing circuit strength training with no equipment necessary. So uh, we're just going to be doing a series of exercises in a row uh, for seven rounds, seven exercises. That's 49 exercises you're going to be doing. Hey, Julie, you're always here. <laughs> it's hard to not be here. It's the internet, right? So we're going to give it just a minute or so for a couple more people to jump on. And, uh, and then we will get started. Like I said, if you want a mat, if you need to go get a water bottle, uh, great. <clears throat> Said no special equipment needed, but if you want a mat, you can get a mat. I'm just adjusting the camera angle there so you can see me a little bit better. Shout out this morning to Houston's Ford Fire Department. I'm on Mayville Fire Department, but I respect the guys down in Houston's Ford and their support group does a heck of a 5K. So if you're looking for a 5K to do, usually in May, once the, uh, once the whole quarantine stuff is done here. Check out the Houstonsford 5K. It supports their fire department. All right, we've got, we had three, now we're down to two. Everybody's kind of dropping. All right, so we're gonna start. Let's give it one more minute for some more people to jump on. Oh, there's number three. Good morning. Once again, if you're just joining us, we're gonna be doing a little bit more of a, a, a focus on strength this morning than on, uh, than on the cardio that we've done the last couple of days. Uh, you won't need any special equipment, but if you'd like to have a mat to be on the floor, I'd recommend grabbing a mat right away. Make sure you've got a water bottle handy as always when you're working out. So we are, uh, we're gonna give it maybe another 10 seconds or so. We've got, oh, we jumped up to three, but now we're back down to two. And you know, I'll be perfectly honest, I donated blood yesterday, so that's part of the reason why we're doing a little bit shorter workout. <clears throat> All right, starting to warm up. So we're gonna get down on the mat. We're gonna lay down on your back and stretch out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up my right hand, my left foot. So my right hand and my left foot are up in the air. And then I'm going to switch so I've got left hand, right foot. So I'm kind of marching on my back. Sometimes you'll see this referred to as a dead bug. I tried saying that to a client once and I was told dead bugs don't move. Good point. So call this what you want, but I want you as you move, to feel those abs really engage as we work on moving and warming up through those shoulders, through those hips. Three, two, one. All right, moving into our second warm up exercise. I'm gonna take the sweatshirt off so you can see what I'm doing a little better. On all fours, I'm gonna lock out my elbows and I'm gonna let my torso relax so it drops down. And I'm going to push the shoulders back out. Torso drops down, shoulders push out. Torso drops down, shoulders push out. What we're doing is drawing the shoulder blades in behind me, warming up that upper back, warming up all those scapular muscles, those shoulder blade muscles. If you want, you can spread out a little further. You're gonna get a little bit more feeling through the abs there, but keep in mind, this is warm up, so it shouldn't feel like you're killing yourself yet. There's plenty of time for that, Julie. 
Let's go three more. Three, two, and one. Nice. I see, I see a comment there on the screen. What are your thoughts on interval running? Interval running is great. I'm going to talk about that a little bit while I'm in a half kneel. So I'm going to go one knee down, one knee up. I'm just going to twist over that up knee and then back to the side. So interval running, it really kind of depends on what your goal is. <clears throat> if you want to get a short, intense workout in, interval running is fantastic. If you tend to do a lot of the same thing, like if you're, if you're a marathon runner and you tend to just do a lot of let's go out there and run, interval running is a good way to kind of mix up the run routine, work a little bit different energy system. Uh, interval running can be very intense, as any kind of intervals can be. Two more on this side, as any kind of intervals can be. So you want to watch how often you're doing that during the week. It does build up a lot of switch knees and twist the other side. It does tend to have a high impact on the body, a high impact on your stress systems. So if you're going to be doing uh, intervals with your running routine, I'd recommend maybe once or twice a week mixed in with your regular running because it can be rough on the body. Uh, if you're prone to knee or hip issues, you're probably not running anyway, but you probably want to watch out for doing high intensity or with really hard sprints because that can be aggravating to the knees. Let's go two more. Two and one. Who's still those obliques from that workout yesterday, huh? We're going to go into standing. Alternating, hug that knee up, hug that knee up, hug and hug. I just realized I forgot to start my timer. Start that right now. Pull that knee up and hug. This is a really great exercise for getting those hips, those glutes warmed up and stretched out just a little bit. For working on balance, there's a lot of balance involved in this exercise. So not only are you getting through the hips, through the knees, through the glutes, also getting through the ankles and the low leg. It's like giving yourself a big hug. It's self-care. Three, two, and one. And then the exercise that Carrie could not believe that I included in this workout because she hates it. We're going to go inch work. So I'm going to put my hands down on the floor, walk out, walk back, and stand. Hands down on the floor, walk out, walk back, and stand. We're going to go three more of these. Now, back to thoughts and interval running. If your goal is to get faster, interval running is a must. One more here. So, for example, if your goal is to get better at your next 5K, interval running, I would say, is something very important to include in your training program. If you're, say, a first-time uh, 5K or 10K runner, maybe it's a good idea to include some harder intervals in, uh, in your initial workout. But if your goal is to just finish a 5K or a 10K, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe we wait and we, we work intervals into a training program when you finish your first 5K, you know how your body's going to respond, and, uh, and then we can start building on your speed from there. So moving into strength, and I've got my interval timer set up here because we're going to be doing rounds of 
20 seconds of exercise with about 10 seconds of rest in between. And so that I can stay honest with my timing, I'm gonna have my timer count for me. So we're gonna be doing seven different exercises for seven rounds. So that's 49 exercises for roughly 30 seconds each exercise, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So that comes up to about, what, 35-ish minutes. So for strength training, a little bit shorter than what we've done for our total workout the last two times. But again, a little more focus on strength than just cardio today. So did I see the message pop up? I just want to do a 5K. I'm not looking for speed. Ha ha. You know what? If you're, if you're looking to just finish a 5K, I would say interval training, you know, if, if you want to try it, it would be fun to include maybe one day a week for your first 5K, um, but not a necessity. If you're looking just to finish your first 5K, have fun, make it to the finish line without feeling like you're going to die, uh, then I would say just a, 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 a progressive running program from week to week would be great. You don't necessarily have to include intervals. Of course, it's something you can, but I would say just a... a, a regular progressive running routine that gets you out there and gets you kind of conditioned to spending, you know, 3.1 miles on your feet would be great. So first exercise, everybody's favorite. We're going to start with pushups. I'm going to start my interval timer. It's going to count me down. We're going to start with pushups. Kneeling pushups are fine. Up on your toes are fine. If you're going to go up on your toes, right there, think plank position up and down. If you're going kneeling, what I like to see is ankles crossed, so you're encouraged to rock on your knees. What we're trying to avoid is tenting those hips up and letting that hip act as a full run. There's 20 seconds. We're going to take 10 seconds off. That might not have seemed like that much, but by round seven, it will. Second exercise, Batman. We're going to lift up and down, up off the floor and down, tucking the elbows back as you go. This is kind of like the classic Superman, but it changes the levers a little bit and puts some more emphasis on drawing the shoulder blades in. Let's take a little rest. We're going to move on to the next exercise, which is a wide stance squat pulse. Here we go. Squat pulse, squat pulse. So I'm dropping out of that squat, pulsing up once, and then coming back up to the top. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Next one, side to side hop. So I'm going to hop to the side, I'm going to cross over, top to side, cross over. Hop to the side, cross, cross, cross. Now, the wider you hop, the more intense these are going to feel. Short hops are just fine. 10 seconds off. Next exercise, mountain climbers. We're going to do this as a slow mountain climb. Climb, climb, climb. Not a jumping mountain climber. The emphasis today is strength. We're gonna throw a little bit of cardio in here for the last exercise, but we're not gonna be as focused on getting the heart rate up as we were the last couple of days. 10 seconds off. Last exercise, I want you to imagine jumping up and hitting a volleyball. Here we go. 20 seconds. Jump up. Hit that volleyball. The emphasis is on landing on the balls of your feet. Feel those calves work. As you get overhead, that heart rate is going to climb up just a little bit. There's 20 seconds. Moving into 10 seconds rest. That was seven exercises. We're going to go back to the top which is push-ups. Or kneeling push-ups if you prefer. 
I'm going to change position so you can see something here. I want you to see my, how my arms are positioned. I'm not way out to the sides there. Elbows tucked back slightly. There's rest. 10 seconds rest. Second exercise, Batman. Why don't we call it Batman? It's because you're like Batman holding his cape up. Lift, relax. Lift, relax. Lift, relax. So it's like your classic Superman exercise, but in a bent elbow position. This is really getting all those posterior chain muscles. Rest. 10 seconds rest. Going back to wide stance squat pulse. Three, two, one, go. Squat and pulse, squat and pulse. Focus on that little bounce at the bottom, which says it goes quads and glutes. Working a little more, 10 seconds rest. Going into side to side hops. In three, three, two, one, hop to the side, hop to the side, like a skater. If you're my age, probably remember Bonnie Blair. If you're young, you probably remember Apollo Ono. I have no idea who the kids like for speed skating now. 10 seconds off. Into, oh, we missed an exercise before. Seated side to side lifts. We'll have to throw an exercise. Side to side, side to side. Leaned back, heels on the floor, or heels up, your choice. Side to side twist. Three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds to transition into a slow mount climber. Three, two, one. Climb, climb, climb. The goal here is keeping those hips as level as you can. You're going to feel those abs engaged. You probably feel something in the legs and through the hips. Three, two, one. Rest. Ten seconds rest. Into volleyball hops. Three, three two, two, one. one. Hop, hop, hop. Going for height. Really push off on the balls in your feet. Two, one, 10 seconds rest. Back up to the top of that. Starting again with regular or kneeling push ups. Ready? Push up. Again, kneeling push ups are just fine. I like to see ankles crossed up off the floor if you're doing that. Christopher, you better be doing those push ups right. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest to go into Batman's. Three, two, one, lift and squeeze, relax. Lift and squeeze, relax. Lift and squeeze, relax. Five seconds. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze, rest. 10 seconds recovery to drag transition into wide stance squat pulse. Here we go. Squat and pulse, squat and pulse. Now I sometimes get asked, what should I do with my hands during the squat? Whatever feels natural. If you want to reach down, that's fine. If you want to reach overhead, that's fine. Ten seconds rest. Moving into side to side hops. Three. <clears throat> there we go. Hop to the side. Hop to the side. Cross behind. Cross behind.
Cross behind, cross behind. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest. Transition into that seated side to side twist. I'm going to show you on a little bit of the angle this time. Twist, twist, twist. The farther back you lean, the more you're going to feel the abs. If you tend to get low back aches, sit a little taller, reduce that range of motion. If you want to go really hardcore, pick up those feet off the floor, really lean back. 10 seconds rest, going into a slow climb. Ready? Here we go. Climb, climb, climb. Trying to keep those hips as steady as you can. Five seconds, two, one, 10 seconds rest into volleyball hops. Get a quick drink of water if you need it. One and three, two, one, hop, hit that volleyball. In three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds off. Going back to the top. Push ups, Christopher. Quick drink of water. And here we go. Remember, you want to keep those elbows tucked back a little bit, not straight out to the sides. Keep those shoulders in a good, safe position. Two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest into Batman's back. So this time I'm do those Batman's facing you. Three, so you can see a little better what I'm doing. Lift, lift, lift. Really feel all those muscles in the back and around the shoulders kick in. As you extend and lift. Two, one, 10 seconds rest. Wide stance, squat pulse. Wherever you want to hold your hands is fine. I tend to feel more balanced reaching out in front. Your mileage may vary. I also get a lot of where should my knees be? The popular fitness misconceptions, your knees can never travel over your toes. There's 10 seconds rest. I'll talk about that more next time we hit squats. Side to side hops. Three, two, one, go. Ah, the popular conception is that knees can never go past your toes. If you've got a pre existing knee condition, that may be true. For most people, that's not an issue. Three, two, one, rest. 10 seconds rest, side to side twist. If you look at power lifters in the Olympics, those guys are pressing side to side twist, pressing crazy amounts of weight. They're catching it in a low squat, and their knees are definitely traveling over their toes. They've got some of the healthiest knees in the business. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Slow climber. Three, three two, two, one, and climb. Three, two, one, 10 seconds rest. Get positions for that overhead hop. Three, three two, one, hop, hop. Now remember, first round through, we missed that seated side to side twist. So we're gonna add that on to the very end. 
So we get our even number of rounds. Ten seconds rest. Back to the top. Push ups. Two, one. As you push, feel those abs kick in. Feel the triceps, those muscles in the back of your arms, bat wings. Feel those muscles across the chest and through the shoulders. Three, two, one. Last Ten seconds rest. Moving into Batman. Here we go. Lift and squeeze, relax. Lift and squeeze, relax. Three, two, one, ten seconds rest. Wide stance, squat pulse. Three, two, now it's funny, 20 seconds of each exercise didn't feel like that much during the first round of these. But now that we're about the halfway point of this workout, how's that feeling? 20 seconds feels pretty good, huh? 10 seconds rest, side to side hops. Three, two, one, hop. Pop, pop. I just saw a message pop up. Keep doing those side to side hops. Halfway, that's it. Yeah. See my timer right there. Halfway point. Three, two, one. Seated side to side twist. We have about nine minutes left to go. Two, one. Side to side twist. If you can go heels up off the floor, fantastic. If you need to go heels down, that's awesome. If you need to sit up higher and shorten up that range of motion because your back is, is a little achy, that's also okay. Do what you can do. 10 second dress, slow climber. Three, two, one and climb. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's. Volleyball house. Three, two. One, top, focus on those calves. Really get those calves squeeze as you jump. Push up off the balls of your feet. Land softly on the balls of your feet. Use those feet as the shock absorbers they were designed to be. 10 seconds rest. Going back to push ups. We're now about seven and a half minutes to go. Here we go. Push ups. Three, two, one, rest. Batman. Three, two, one, go. Lift and squeeze, relax. Lift and squeeze, relax. Three, three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. Wide stance, squat boss. Squat and pulse, squat and pulse. Not too fast on these. The goal is to feel those muscles work. 
These aren't squat jumps. These aren't speed squats. Ten seconds rest. Side to side hops coming up next. Three, two, one. Here we go. Really feel that push off as you change sides on this. Again, this one's a little cardio. There should be a lot of muscular work here too. 10 seconds rest, seated, side to side, twist. Here we go, twist, twist, twist. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ten seconds like break. Slow climber. Three, two. Here we go. 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 Are you keeping those hips steady? Are you doing this controlled? Not like a fast jumping climber, but a controlled slow climber. Feel that core really engaged. One. Time. Ten seconds rest. Volleyball hops. I want you to really feel your muscles work here. Three. Some more guys start the video with muscle squeeze. Go. More about getting muscle squeeze than it is about getting the heart rate up. Although I will do that, your heart rate is at least up there with mine. Three, two, one, ten seconds rest. Going back to push ups. We've got roughly four minutes to go. Here we go. Push ups. Knee limbs are fine here. Just. Lower down on the floor, push yourself back up. You are doing fantastic. Keep up the work. Two, one, nice. Into Batman's. In three, two, one. Here we go. Lift and squeeze, relax, and repeat. Repeat after me. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Three, two, one. Rest. Wide stance. Squat pulse. Ready? Three, two, one. Go. Squat pulse. Squat pulse. Three, two, two, one, one. Rest. Ten seconds off. Side to side hops. In three, three two, one. And go. go. Really feel that push off to the side. There should be some force behind it. Stick the landing. Step across and back. Feel those legs. Those hips Three, working. Two, one, rest. Ten second rest. Seated side to side twist. Three, two, one. Here we go. go. Three, two, one, recovery, 10 seconds, slow climber. Three, two, one. Here we go. go. Climb, climb, climb. Now, this is our last round through. But remember, 
We missed those seated side to side twists in the first round. So we're going to tack those out at the end of this one. Three, two, one, rest. Volleyball hops. After the volleyball hops, we're not quite done. We're going to go back and do those seated side to side twists that we missed the first time throws. Drop. Two, one, 10 seconds rest. Three, two, one, see the side to side twist. This is the very last exercise. This is round 49. You can do it. Hang in there. We only have about five seconds to go. Three. Two, one, done. Done. My interval timer tells me we are done. That was 24 minutes and 20 seconds, 49 rounds. All right. Everybody, thank you for joining me. Christopher doesn't ever want to be a mountain climber. That's awesome. That's okay. You don't have to be a mountain climber but you have to be something. You don't have a choice to not be anything. Everybody is something. Right now I'm kind of tired and sweaty. I hope you are too. Thank you for joining me, all four of you on this workout today. Hope you got something out of it. Watch for a post later today about tomorrow's workout. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy.